All right, so today we're doing topic three, creating a budget. Um, this is our last class. Now we talked about incidents and expenses. We actually have talked a lot about uh, what is involved in creating a budget or what you need to look at already, and we're just kind of refining that. So uh, here is a guideline that shows approximately how much of someone's budget should be spent on certain categories. Of course, there's a plus and minus. Um, depends on where you live for housing uh, and food and transportation. Um, but you want to make sure that there's certain things th that your needs are looked after before your wants, right? So you have to um, put a little bit more towards housing and food and transportation than you might towards entertainment or clothing. Um, so steps for s calculating the amount spent in a category. You're going to change the percent to decimal by dividing by 100 and then multiply the total income by that decimal. So what we're doing here is we're looking at our categories and our percentage and we're going to uh, look at our income and decide how much we should be spending on them. So changing the percent to a decimal, we would divide by 100. So this would be 0, 030, oh. this would be 0, 020, oh. 0, 0.12. 0 0.10, 0 0.10, 0 0.08, 0 .08, and 0 0.10. Done that work ahead of time so that we have those inf that information to access. So, Kelly and Maria will share an apartment while they attend college. Their net monthly income is 4,200. According to the guidelines, how much should they spend? Uh, how much can they afford for housing? So, the decimal for housing is 0 0.30 times 4,200, and that equals 1,260. Now we're glad we changed all of our, our percentages to decimals. For transportation, well, transportation is 0.12 times 4,200, so that would equal 504. Entertainment, 0 0.10 times 4,200 equals 420. Okay, clothing. Clothing was 0 0.08 times 4,200 equals, ooh, what am I writing there? That was weird. Uh, <laughs> 336. Now you can do that with each of the categories. This was just for a few of them. Um, but all you have to do is multiply that in the income by um, the monthly income by that percentage. Okay. Example two, the Singh family listed their monthly expenses below. What percent of their income do they spend in each category? Round all the answers to the nearest whole number. So steps for calculating percent, find the total of their expenses, divide each category by the total and then convert to percent by multiplying by 100. So we're figuring out what they actually spend. So first thing we have to do is we have to total their expenses. So we're going to add up all these expenses um, in this column and total them. When we add all of these up, we get 4410. That's our total. So we're going to find the percent. So here we'd have 1,200 divided by 4,410. We get, uh, and then we times it by 100 to get the percent. When we do that, we get 27%. For food, 860 divided by 4410 uh, times 100 equals 20%. Uh, transportation, 700 divided by 4410. Zero times 100 equals 16%. 250 divided by 4410 times 100 equals 6% for entertainment. Health and personal care, 200 divided by 4410. That's my four pedicures. <laughs> uh, <laughs> times 100. Uh, and that would be 5%. Clothing, 
300 divided by 4410 times 100 equals 7%. Savings, well, it's great they're saving money. Uh, times 100% is 11%. And miscellaneous 400 by 4410 times 100 equals 9%. Now, if you add up this column of percentage, and we're gonna do that right now. Now there's some rounding and such, so I wanna make sure it should add up to 100. 27 plus 20 plus 16 plus 6 plus 5 plus 7 plus 11 plus 9. Enter, well, it adds up to 101. So there's something that got rounded um up so, but it's close enough we can still put that in our 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 uh graph i mean we could also think about comparing it if we flip our page back how well do they fit with those guidelines housing's 27 percent. that's pretty close to to uh the 30 percent food is exactly 20 percent their transportation is a little high and their entertainment's a little low uh, health and personal care is a little low. Clothing, seven is pretty close to eight. They are actually saving money, which is awesome. And then they have 9% for miscellaneous. So, you know, they've got some room for, they, they're pretty close to the budget. Okay. Now, I don't know why this is all highlighted. <laughs> um, this table summarizes Mel's monthly budget. Uh, determine the percentage of income that Mel spends in each category. Um, so we want to figure out our percent. I have no idea why it went like that. So I've got to fig I've got to add my column. Um, <clears throat> so we'll figure out our percent. First we have to find our total. Our total is 260. So this would be 950 divided by two, or 2600, sorry, times 100, which is equal to 37%. Food and clothing, 550 divided by 2600 times 100 equals 21%. Oh, this is percent. I don't know why I put degrees. Well, I do know why, but I shouldn't have. Uh, health and personal care, 75 divided by 2,600 times 100 equals 3%. Um, transportation, 500 divided by 2,600 times 100 equals 19%. Recreation and education, 200 divided by 2,600 times 100 equals 8%. Savings. I'm always happy when I see savings there because it means people are paying themselves first. Uh, that will be 3%. Usually you should be saving about 10% of your paycheck. That's the recommended guideline. Miscellaneous, 250 divided by 2600 times 100 equals 10%. Now, you can take that and you can build a circle graph, right? Um, now, I recommend you use your Google. Remember when, remember back when we learned how to do graphing using our, our circle graph? And then you build a circle graph outlining how much of each budget. So um, in class, we're gonna pop over and do that. Um, so you'll have to remember what you did, what we did with that, but we will do that in class. We will build a graph using our Google, uh, our Google's, uh, was it, it was Google Sheets, right? Um, to build that beautiful circle graph. Um, so that's why we've learned how to do those. So in class, we're gonna do that. Um, I might uh, see if I can do it, do a little video to companion with this one, just to kind of demonstrate how to do that. Um, for you um, for this one example in particular but that's what this one is now you're going to do practice from your practice 
they have you figuring out the degrees, but what I would like you to do instead is to figure out using uh, this circle graph in Google Sheets because I always prefer to use um, the, uh, uh, the technology we have in order to help us with these problems. And basically with it, you're going to put all these categories in. Okay, so this is part one of the video, and then I'm going to go into Google Sheets, and I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to create a graph um, using 